Greetings, yes, you're here with Chef India Camille from Back to Live by Chef India. And today we're covering a special topic. What is the topic? Oh, the Chef India stays raw. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do it again. Something like that. Look, man, but you know they pay me for this, you know, so you better come with it right down in one time, two, three, four shots again, me, you know, one time, so. <laughs> It's been a little bit more than 10 years that I've been primarily all live, right? I don't like to say raw. Anyone who knows me knows that I don't like to say raw because raw, it doesn't sound appeasing. Like, who wants to eat raw food, you know? Oh, no, nope, not for me. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'd rather eat all live, all living foods, living foods for living bodies. So I've been primarily all live, primarily. <laughs> for going on 13, 14 years now. And I say primarily because over the last couple of years, I've kind of dabbled in a little cooked food here and there with us having a restaurant, which is a whole nother story. <laughs> so it's been a little bit more than 13 years. And um, there was a long period of time where I actually just really went straight forward and did not eat any cooked food for at least about 10 years, right? So, hmm, there's probably about three, three, three primary ways that I've stayed all live. Number one is when I first transitioned into all live, I pretty much made anything that I would want to eat. So if I wanted enchiladas, I made something that tasted like enchiladas and that felt like enchiladas and, you know, had the texture and the taste. Mm, yep. Keeping the texture and the taste pretty consistent with the foods that I used to be addicted to really helped me continue to transition. So my better than cauliflower mashed potatoes is it tastes like mashed potatoes are it tastes like potato salad but it doesn't have the damaging effects of eating potatoes right or my pizza i really wanted it to taste like pizza so i made something that tasted like pizza <laughs> i think when i was really into when i first got into eating all live i would go out to a lot of different restaurants and you know the food looked beautiful and they said you know we have a burger and I could remember, I was like, okay, cool, that sounds good. Because when you say burger, automatically I think of Carl's Jr. Like, that's my memory of a burger, our In-N-Out, our Fat Burger. You know, those are, the, those are the, the memories that I have of burger. So when they came out with this like little thin piece of nut meat and this onion bread that was really hard, I was like, yo, like it tastes okay. You know, I can get with it. Like I can eat this, but this is not a burger. Like and when I want a burger, I want a burger. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna make a burger. Like to me, a burger is big, fat and juicy and satisfying. So I went and I made a burger. I can't believe I made it. For, for a while, I was known for these green burgers that I used to make with, with mustard greens and sunflower seeds. And I used sunflower seeds because they were affordable. <laughs> so yeah, I just pretty much for the first, I would say seven years of my transition into All Live, I really made sure to make what I wanted to eat taste like what I used to be addicted to and what I was transitioning out of. So I never felt like I missed anything. But the process was a little long, but it still worked. It still worked out. <laughs> the second way that I have stayed alive is by actually detoxing on a regular basis. So there would be pretty much every week I would detox once a week. And then from there I would detox while I was on my, my red, which is my, my feminine time, right? And then I started detoxing for longer periods of time seven days, two weeks, three weeks. I even fasted, juice fasted one time for 44 days. So, you know, it was a continuous, continuous purge out and cleanse out. The 
living food consumption in itself is a purge in itself it purges the system in itself so if you're eating all life strictly for a period of time your system will naturally start to detox itself but the actual juice fasting really assisted in that process what happens is you start to cleanse your body at a more expedited rate of all of the bad memory that it's carrying from all of the damaging foods and chemicals that were consumed before that were stuck in the tissues and the muscles and in the cellular memory right because we have to remember that everything circulates through the bloodstream so if you ate something last week that you know a corn dog or something which i used to love corn dogs if you ate a corn dog that is going to circulate you know through the bloodstream and it goes to the memory bank of all your cellular activity and what happens is is your body recalls it and you think maybe you're just having a craving but it's really the body remembering you know it is a craving a craving is a, a, a memory a cellular memory so detoxing really 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 assists in staying alive because your palate changes it's like things that you were interested in eating before you may even try to go back to eating it but it doesn't taste the same it doesn't taste how you remember it tasting and you prefer to eat more fresher foods you prefer to eat more hydrating foods your whole being starts to get accustomed to this new program you could say so reprogramming through detoxification is key 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 if you want to maintain an all live lifestyle so that you know if you're out with your buddies and you're out with your, your sisters and your brothers you're out with your sisters and your brothers and they're having like a cookout that you are not tempted to eat those foods. They don't even bring up a, a sensory memory for you to want to participate in it. So I would say detox, 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 even if you do it for eight hours or you know more, anytime you stop eating for eight hours, the body automatically goes through a detox. So if you can only you know, do a juice fast or detox on just fruits for one day or for eight hours or for 12 hours, I would say just start somewhere and you will see over time, you'll progress into being able to detox longer, but then also not wanting cooked food at all. And the third way that I have <laughs> been able to stay alive is that I work within a budget. Usually I have a budget anyways, so I can't, I don't, I can't necessarily, all right, there was a time that I didn't, I, I couldn't afford to buy a whole bunch of cashews or a whole bunch of, I bought the, the most inexpensive seeds, which were pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds, if you're living in the States. If you're living in Belize, that's not the, that's not the least expensive. You know, all seeds, nuts, and grains from here are pretty costly. However, in the States, the, the pumpkin seeds and the sunflower seeds, there were still ways that I were able to get my, I was able to get my protein in, um, our structural building amino acids in, without spending top dollar. And I really couldn't thing. handle a lot of the nuts because my system worked better with seeds that have less fat. Um, so I would say working within a budget and, and really just being exploratory within that budget and not limiting yourself. Like, so for example, if I didn't have, like if, if I looked at a recipe and the recipe called for three pounds of cashew, I would say, okay, well, I have to stay within my budget. So I'm just gonna, I'm going to try it with sunflower seeds and one pound of cashew and I'm going to see how that works out. So working within your budget and being creative, you know, be creative. It's nothing's going to be terrible if you make something that doesn't taste the best. <laughs> It just means you just learn, right? You just learn that that doesn't really work with it and then you eat it and then you move forward. But it's, it's be, be exploratory in how you, how you approach creating your living foods and make sure you stick to a budget. And then the other thing in sticking with a budget is to make sure you have a lot of fresh ingredients. You know, the seeds and the nuts and the superfoods and all of the different condiments can be very expensive and a lot of times they're pre-packaged, which packaged food is expensive no matter if it's raw vegan or any of those things try to make your own snacks so anything that I wanted to eat I made a point to make it myself especially when I you know when the, when the little when the pockets got a little lean when the pockets got a little lean I made a point to make sure to make that food myself so those are the 
top three ways that I've stayed live for primarily, majorly, um, mostly 13 years now. And um, I, hope, I hope that helps you out on your journey. And I welcome you all to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I also welcome you all to make sure you subscribe to our website and you know we're going to be having our blog we're launching our website Friday by the way so I'm like super stoked like I'm geeked right now right so we're, we're launching our blog which is going to have informational articles it's going to have some recipes it's going to just have my opinion for those of you who don't know that I am a journalist as well and it's also going to feature our impressed portal which is for all of the empresses out there who look to network family energy drink a cup of quarters on my course then I could up hey. if I wrote the word money stacks for all my daughters hey. never ask for payment in the womb times nine now we see the blood on the street times try feminine energy balance up there um, I'm definitely going to drop more information about that in the description below and also we are going to have our recipe section and we give away a free recipe Monday, Wednesday and Friday and you have the option to opt in to receive more recipes as well. And what else do we have going on on there? Oh, how could I forget? Summer solstice is coming up. It's right around the corner. It's actually next week. And we're launching our 21 day summer solstice pure visions detoxification purification program and it's going to feature some awesome guests it's going to feature three weeks of content in which you can take our course slash program and learn more and more about how to detoxify your system even if you're transitioning from eating animal products and you want to transition into being plant-based which people call vegan or you want to take, go from vegan to being all alive then what this does this course will give you the tools to help you transform into the lifestyle that you're looking to transform into and that you're looking to manifest as well because we all know that animal products clog down the body and make us you know I, I think less productive and less optimal and less supreme less godly or make us less goddesses you could say Go ahead and check it out yourself the link will be in the description below and you can check it out see what see what we have to offer see who you're going to be working with see who you're going to be connecting with to actually manifest create your divine 2020 pure visions into the future <laughs> well i'm chef india camille i'm signing off saying stay live stay present and love your living lifestyle peace